OneDrive for Business offers many options for sharing files and collaborating on them uh, that are really useful. First, to get to your OneDrive for Business, visit Staff, OneDrive for Business, or type onedrive.ecsd.net. Once you've found the file you'd like to share, hover over it. You'll see a white circle to the left of that document. Click it to select it. At the top, you'll see one of the options is Share. To share that with an individual in the organization, simply start typing their last name. You'll see their name show up. At this point, you've got some options, whether the person can edit the document or if you just want them to view the document without editing it. You also have an option to require them to sign into Office 365 to be able to view or edit, and whether you want to send them an email invitation or not. After that, click, simply click Share, and that file will show up for them in their Shared With Me folder. This folder is a list of all different files that have been shared with you. They'll also, if you've selected the email notification, get an email notifying them that they've had a new file shared with them. A second option for sharing a file. Let's say you'd like to share with somebody who's outside of Edmonton Catholic Schools whose name won't appear in our email list. Or if you want to share it on a public website and you're not sure who you want to share it with. In that case, choose Get a Link. In this case, it will give you a shared link with specific privileges. And if you take a look at the options, there are several. So, if you want someone to view or edit that, as long as they have an Edmonton Catholic School District Office 365 account, select these top two. If you want it to be publicly available such that nobody has to sign in, to view or edit, make that option. What you'll notice happen at that point is you can even, if you wish to, set an expiry date so that that link won't work after a specified time. A third option, if you've created an Office 365 group and you'd like to share that file with group members, select Share, and instead of inviting people, Start typing the name of your Office 365 group. It will show up and you can give your group members the same view or edit options. Folders can be shared within the organization only at this time. So you would have to uh, share that folder with a specific individual or an Office 365 group. Having a public link for that folder isn't fully functional at this point. Now, once you've shared a file, here's how to unshare that or stop sharing it. That's an important thing to teach our students to do that, go back to a file that's been shared and look for the Shared With tab on the left side. At this point, you can see all those others who've requested access or who can view or edit that document. And at that point, you can go individually to allow different sharing privileges, including Stop Sharing, or you can simply click the Stop Sharing button and that will, prov that will stop that document from being shared with that individual moving forward. So those are a few of the options for sharing files and folders in Office 365.